Capricorn, hi, welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your Singles Love Tarot reading. Who is coming towards you? Capricorn in love. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit. Okay, Capricorn? Uh, it is a general collective reading. Also, stick around till the end. I'm going to pull some letters, numbers, zodiac signs, see who it is you're dealing with. And also, please, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below if you'd like, and also, if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. All right, Capricorn, let's get into your reading. Oh, oh. Ah, not good. We have storm warning right off the bat. Uh, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So something with communication, the throat chakra, and indecision. Uh, is this you? Or is this the person coming towards you, Capricorn? Hmm. Someone can't make up their mind or doesn't know which path to choose. Maybe there's lack of communication here. Um, we do have man holding a coin. There is no gender in tarot. It could be a woman, man, whatever. There could be somebody that you don't see coming towards you that can offer you some kind of stability. But right now, you could be going through some kind of a, a storm, all right? Some kind of hurricane, tornado coming at you. I don't I don't know. It could be your person uh, going through that. But let's see. Let's see. Current situation for Capricorn. Karma, judgment. You're showing up hot off the press here, Capricorn. Uh, devil energy, shadow side uh, with karma. This could be a car the end of a karmic cycle. Mm, the Fool, Aries Energy, Six of Wands. Is there somebody, Capricorn, that you're feeling chained, tied, bound to? There's a lot of temptation going on. Someone might be getting ready to take a leap of faith here. So if you're at the end of... A connection if you're leaving someone for somebody else or going back to somebody from the past or something along those lines one of you is getting ready to take some kind of leap into the unknown all right what else what else Capricorn current situation and what's going on Capricorn what is going on the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Somebody can't make up their mind when it comes to love. Ugh. Just, just had this with Taurus. If you're dealing with a Taurus or something, check out that one. But it was someone gonna make up their mind. It wasn't really positive. Uh, let's see. Someone's stuck. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Someone's stuck. Someone can't make up their mind. Someone can't make a choice in love. What else? Current situation for Taurus. Or uh, for Capricorn. See? Who is it? Is it you, Capricorn, or is it this person or both of you in a third-party situation? If this is a secret third-party situation, be careful because it might come to light. Someone might find out, maybe through gossip, through conversation, slipping up on words. Someone might blow the horn here if there's something going on in secret. Uh, third party situation just saying um or this could be a work work related romance or something along those lines tell me more about this three of cups tell me more about this three of cups who is this three of cups Third party could be person, place, or thing as well, you guys. It could be someone's a workaholic or an, has some kind of like an addiction or a uh, shopaholic, something in excess, okay? Uh, I asked who was this third party and you showed up. Just saying, Queen of Pentacles. 
Queen of Swords also uh, showing up here too. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Yeah, there's something being kept a secret here. There's something being kept a secret. What is this person's intentions towards you? The star to heal some kind of heartache and pain. Another more Aquarius energy. Three of swords. A wish come true. Healing. Some kind of heartache. After possibly some manipulation, lies, sneaking, betrayal. Oh, Capricorn. Why? What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions towards Capricorn? It's heavy. It's heavy energy. All right. So Ace of Pentacles... I feel like, uh, Capricorn, you could have been in a connection with this person and they stepped out. I feel like they want to come back to reconcile. You might be the one that's indecisive here. Um, I feel like this person is going to try and turn their back on third party or other options. I feel like they want to heal this with you, Capricorn, and have a stable new beginning. I feel like they're realizing now that you make them happy. You're their son, Leo energy. Virgo energy. They may want to take it real slow, uh, but there is stability there. But they could be trying to be methodical, practical, very slow moving. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sag. This could be someone you thought was your soulmate. And they, they did you dirty here, Capricorn, and you decided to walk away. Or that's your, your decision or your indecisiveness going on at the moment. Um, but let's see. What's blocking this connection? What's blocking this connection, Capricorn? What's blocking this? romance we have knight of cups pisces energy two of swords so <sighs> capricorn sometimes when people do you wrong or do you dirty once you're done you are done and that could be your stance here um this person may owe you a really big apology and that's being blocked right now. You might be trying to make some kind of a head over heart or logical decision. Which again, somebody's trying to make a decision here. Whether it's you or them. The energies can be completely flip-flopped and reversed. Take it how it, how it fits, okay? Um, you may just feel like no romantic feelings towards this person anymore. Yeah, you don't even feel attraction towards them. You don't even feel attraction towards this person anymore. Could have been a water sign um, that got in the middle here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Could be a Sagittarius. Leo, Aries. I feel like this person stepped out or they were playing around or they did something. They want to come back and reconcile. That's who's coming towards you. This is, this it could be someone who you were married to, had children with, had a higher level of commitment, house, home, assets, family, things like that. Or they do, or you do, or some somewhere in between here. What else? Blockages, blockages. You want to know the truth. You feel like you're being left in the dark and you want to know the truth. Justice, Libra energy, Hermit, Virgo energy, Ace of Swords. 
You could have cut off communication with this person completely Capricorn until things balance out or you could be talking to like an attorney for a divorce or something along those lines. Your happiness blocked. Leo energy, yep. Fighting, arguing, competition, drama, third party. Your Ten of Cups being blocked. Oof, this is heavy, Capricorn. All right, let's see. What's the potential outcome here? What's Capricorn going to do? What is Capricorn going to do? I just feel like you're just so, like, disgusted. And so, like, mm. The Fool, Aries energy, Justice again, Libra energy. You're not fighting for this anymore. You, If you're married to this person, you might file for divorce, separation, cut off communication. If you have children together, you might even kind of put your foot down with some of that stuff. Um, King of Wands and King of Swords. There might be a battle of... I don't want to, don't take this the wrong way, but a battle of the egos. You're hurt and this person's trying to fight for you back, but I feel like you have no fight left in you. I just felt something like tickle my head. That was weird. Give me the chills. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like you have no fight left in you. No fight left. Yeah, you're chasing your happiness. You want some kind of a new spark. You're moving on to calmer waters. Well, let's see. Is there somebody else coming towards Capricorn? Somebody else coming towards Capricorn in the near future? That storm warning, that's a number 10 too. Tens are endings. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's someone new coming towards Capricorn. Oh, you're manifesting somebody. You're changing your perspective. This has got you stressed out here. Um, you could be manifesting a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. You're making a decision. You could be making a decision between a water sign and a fire sign, or you have that coming towards you. You're really stressed out, though. I feel like you're trying to find some kind of strength, courage here. And you're, you're, it's like you're trying to manifest some kind of love gesture, romantic gesture. You are making a decision. You're definitely making a decision, Capricorn. I feel like you might have somebody new, though coming towards you and I feel like it's someone that you have attraction to and there's some kind of emotion that's going to be offered but right now you're you're trying to pull your energy back hmm. let's see biggest obstacle for Capricorn right now what's the biggest obstacle for Capricorn playfulness and friendliness you're stuck here. Compromise too and healing. You're stuck in this dark, stressed out, high anxiety, sleepless nights, replaying events over in your head, kind of like disbelief. It's you're you're really struggling to find this playfulness and this like adventurous, fun, fun side to you. I feel like you will. You'll find the strength. You are manifesting. So be very careful with what you're thinking or putting out into the universe. Because I feel like 
there will be a decision that you're going to make and I feel like you have somebody new coming toward you. If it's not a water sign, I feel like it's somebody that is emotionally available that you are attracted to coming towards you. Uh, let's see. What else do we have for Capricorn? Ooh, that's a lot. Denial. Um, that's pretty clear here. Uh, repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. I feel like this person is in denial because it's like they want you back, but they don't understand the consequences that they caused. Anyway, healing, self-care, time out, be gentle with yourself and your twin. Fifth dimension, intuitive communications, you are connected at the soul level. Big goals, career, business, success, claim your place in the world. All right. We have journal, appreciate, cycles, awakening, memories, and stuff. Block, third party, silence, barrier, shift your focus, clear the energy. With memories, it's nostalgia, repetition, attachment, reliving the past, let it go. Awakening, realization, progress, your twin is awakening to your connection. Cycles, this may not be the first time this person did this to you. Um, get grounded, stay grounded in the now, all right? Maybe journal, write, contemplate pros and cons lists, things like that. All right, Capricorn, let's see. Uh, I'm going to pull some letters. Could be first, middle, or last name initials, or it could spell a name or a word of significance to you. And if they have first and last name that have the same letter, feel free to double these because I only have one of each. All right, E-N-K-O-Y-B-R-S-U-N-M. So E-N-K-O-R-Y-B-S-U-M. I'm also seeing A and J and T. A-J-T. All right, let's get some numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Uh, could be an angel number or just a number of significance, okay? We have one, two, six, and 10. So the first, the second, sixth, or 10th of any month, 16th, 12th, 21st, or 10th. We have January, February, uh, June, and October. All right, zodiac signs. Could be sun signs, strong placements in their chart, or something could happen during the zodiac sign. So Capricorn season, for instance, okay? So during that season. All right, we have Virgo, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Sagittarius again, and Capricorn. So Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, and Sagittarius. Could be any sign, you guys. This could just be strong placements in their charts or your chart or during that season. Take it how it resonates. All right, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Sorry it wasn't more positive. Hopefully next time it will be. Um, but please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below if you'd like, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Capricorn, love and light. Take care.